Welcome to 5 Minutes in the Word, a daily devotional in the Word of God. You know, Logan, I, I try to live a, a wise life, especially now as a father. Uh, you know, trying to, to help my children, you know, to, to know what's right, to know what the next step is to take in life. Uh, but I don't always succeed at that. And, I, and I, I find that as I dive into the Word more, that wisdom just 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 almost literally leaps off the page. And mm-hmm. I, I know that I need it. I know that I need the Word, and I wish yeah. other people saw that too. When we talk about wisdom, what what's one passage you can think about that will help us kind of grow in, in the wisdom of the Lord? Uh, really, Ephesians 5. Okay. Um, that's that's one for me. Uh, but I can really uh, cor- or really empathize with what you're saying in wisdom. Uh, because me being 22, I feel like I figured some stuff out until I'd <laughs> have to figure some stuff out and I really don't know anything. Yeah, so life kind of <laughs> life kind of hits you that way. Sometimes you, you think you know a lot and then all of a sudden it's like, wait, I know nothing. Yeah. Um, and in regard to spiritual life, you know, when that happens in life, yeah. and it happens, you know, I mean, recently I had some car trouble. I don't know anything about cars. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I have to call people and try to get their wisdom and, and to how to fix things in this. But it's one thing not to know, know about how to fix a car. But to not know about the Lord and what mm-hmm. He wants for us, that impacts the way that I live my life. That impacts my walk yeah. as a Christian, and that's far more important. So you said Ephesians 5, right? Yeah, I really, starting verse 15, Okay. Uh, look carefully when you walk, not as, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of your time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. So really... Uh, if we can understand the will of the Lord, we got it made. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, that word there, circumspectly, you know, I mean, it, it, that's talking about somebody that, that really is aware, that's, that has, a, a, you know, a keen eye on everything that's around them and everything yeah. they're going through. You know, they're, uh, they're using, obviously, the Lord's perspective, you know, as they go through life. And so yeah. that's helping direct them and help kind of kind of lead them the right way you know it says redeeming the time uh you know uh in here because the days are evil and I, that's something that i think we need to i guess focus in on and recognize i i know i, know I need to use my time more for the lord mm-hmm. uh and i need to make sure that i'm doing that because uh it's not like the world's getting any less worldly yeah. <laughs> uh it's not like that that um, that everyone in the world's already saved, or you know, and but also you, know, you have this idea that we don't know when the world's going to come to an end. So, you know, with the urgency of not knowing when the world's going to end, and the urgency of how evil the world is, yeah. you know, we need to walk circumspectly for us, but also for their people. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, we need that wisdom to help our lives, but we also need that wisdom to help other people's lives, right? right here. Uh, verses 15 through 17 it's real to me it really uh, it's really bringing forth the idea of emphasizing growth okay. uh, in both spirit and wisdom that wisdom of God's will in our lives but uh, in a spirit as well uh, embodying Christ in the way that we walk which is what verse 15 is saying mm-hmm. look carefully how you walk not as unwise but as wise how do you carry yourself are you displaying right. the attributes of Christ in your life um, really that's uh, to me what fif- verse 15 is saying and then going into verse 16 uh, making the best of use of your time because the days are evil you talked about the, the world's really is not getting any less worldly no. uh, but make the best use of your time you don't want to be a bum and stay in the bed all day uh, like I'm, I'm scared to sin so I'm just going to stay here <laughs> yeah. I mean really uh, make the most of every opportunity you can uh, yes, you can stay in the bed all day and keep from sinning, I guess, but you can also be out and go and evangelizing and, and, and to keep from sin as well. Right. Uh, make the best use of your time. Exhibit and look for every opportunity possible for you to share the gospel with others. Because uh, I, I tell the kids um, in Bible classes, like you may be the only opportunity someone has to, to hear the gospel, uh, to see Christ. Uh, so make that road that they are traveling on. If they come, if they intersect with your road, make sure your road is a good one. Because uh, living between living north in Tennessee, 
some of the roads in Mississippi aren't the best, <laughs> but um, you got, you got I, some bad roads up there. Uh, tor <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad. But um, make sure that road that you intersect with them on is a good one. Make sure they see, hey, that that was a good stretch. I want I want to have I want my highway to be like that. Uh, the way that I travel every day, I want it to be good. And then finally, uh, verse 17, Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Uh, don't really, kind of going back to verse 16, don't be reckless or uh, unwise, and this time particularly in our lifestyle choices, the mm -hmm. things that we choose to, to make us us. Uh, what do you want to be known for? Uh, because we know, I've heard a story where every time this little boy did something bad, his dad would hammer a nail into a, a board of wood. But every time he made up for that bad deed, the father would take the nail out. However, that hole still there. was still there. <laughs> yep. uh, and it was kind of a reminder to that little boy. It's like, it, I may do something good to make up for bad, but that bad's still there. I can still remember that. Yep. Uh, really, and James talks about it too in James chapter 1. Uh, talking about being tempted and uh, or, or temptation is really dependent on uh, the context there. But he also mentions the word perfect, I think, in verse 4 of James chapter 1. And that word perfect really doesn't mean perfection or 100%. Uh, it kind of goes back to what we were talking about in Ephesians 5 as uh, growth. Uh, or here in James, it's a maturity. Uh, really, verse 4 of James chapter 1, let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect is what the ESV says, but I'm going to say mature, that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. So really that's uh, what I would say uh, really helps with me or helps me in that. Well, that's really good. And, you know, I see this, I said, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And if we're going to do that, we get to be people in his word. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got to be in the word of the word uh, day in and day out. And uh, honestly, in the full context, if you go from verse 18 to 21, you can see how that wisdom of the Lord, how that's going to impact, you know, all aspects of our life. It's going to yeah. impact our personal life, our physical life. It's going to impact our worship. Uh, it's going to impact so many things uh, in our relationships with one another mm -hmm. and how we respect one another how, and our submission and our fear of the Lord. So many good things there we can see. Um, but, you know, we really we need to walk in wisdom. We need to walk according to the way that the Lord has told us to do um, and uh, to keep maturing and growing. Uh, in the knowledge of him. I think it's cool too that God gave us two ears and only one mouth. That's right. <laughs> uh, so maybe we ought to listen more than we speak. That's right.